Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode on our YouTube channel Gracefully by Car. Apologies for the noises but next door uh, they're doing some construction work so it's bound to happen that you might be hearing some sounds uh, along uh, this video. What do we have here? Well, this is um, a mega wardrobe. It's right now it's in parts. So we have the body here and some other parts around. Why am I showing this wardrobe? Mainly because the first two coats after cleaning and a lot of sanding, of course, um, we painted with the French chic wall paint. Well, the French chic wall paint is also good for furniture because it's still chalk paint and it's, it is also scrubbable once cured. So uh, the color that we chose this time is called Stone in Love. And it is a bit of a greyish. It is a bit of a grey and a beige. Uh, our client uh, wanted something that is greyish and beige, but wanted it in the French uh, chateau style. So uh, today, during this video, I will be showing you uh, a close-up of how to do the French chateau look with brushes. Um, after the successful video we had last time and here you can well, during this video you will be learning the process of blending three colors together with uh, gold and browning wax so let's get started first and foremost the colors that we are going to use First things first, we are going to use some Stony Love as a base. Now, some really, really, really some paint here. I am using an old French chic brush, basically the reason being because the round brushes, after a lot of use, they become a little bit flat up here. So they are really ideal for blending. So after the swanky pants, we're using the city slicker. Now we use the other brush with the swanky pants to blend in. And 
and if you want some more of a darker effect we use a little bit more of city slicker to blend in This is the basically the first step of finishing off this process and here we have the blending of three colors it's a marble defect which then will change next step is doing the upper part over here we are doing this middle part here with swanky pants and this upper part here with city slicker so that we have a combination of all two colors And as you can see, we finished the second main part of this project, which basically consisted of putting the swanky pants on the side and city slicker on the upper part. And now we're heading off to do the gold. Here you can see our finished look with the gold. So we didn't really do any solid part with the gold. Um, we went on both the city slicker and the swanky pants, but we did just a little bit of dry brushing there because the effect will come out with the browning wax so basically now this way you can probably see a little bit of a close-up of everything that we've done so far so next stage after the gold dries we're going for the browning wax And here, as you can imagine, is the process with the browning wax. So it's a little bit darker now, but the last steps would be that of using some clear wax to get into the detail. The corners here, we're leaving them dark with browning wax, even these top parts here, because we love how the finish has come and so we're using the clear wax on this part here only. And here you can see the upper part of this wardrobe ready. You can also notice the difference between the before when it, when it was just with uh, Stone in Love and the after with all the blending, uh, gilding and 
browning wax and or even clear wax. So let's get a closer look on how the finished part is. You can notice also some holes in it that we decided to leave so that it can look authentic and not really um, a new piece, which is obviously this wardrobe is very old. So we decided to leave these small details to make it look authentic. You can also see the difference between the browning wax on this side, the browning wax on this side and especially in the middle. Here we left a lot of uh, browning wax. It's still drying as you can see. And here for example we left a little bit more and here and in the corner here just to make it looking authentic authentic and old and this is also the upper part where, the, where we did with the uh, gold and the browning wax over the two colors that we had chosen to finish this thank you very much for joining us for this uh, brand new episode on our YouTube channel Rescoli by Carlo. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you're liking our tutorials, our updos and our inspirational projects, uh, small or big. We hope that you liked uh, the way this wardrobe is coming. You'll be seeing it in later videos uh, when it's uh, being finished. So far so good. Take care, stay safe, ta-ta!